Hi, my name is Kevin Taylor. I would like to ask, how relevant is Vice President Baumia to the NPP government? This is the Friday Editorial. With all due respect, I have been asking myself this question all week. Is Vice President Mahmoud Baumia relevant to this NPP government at all? In fact, if Dr. Baumia, who is now tagged as a candid liar by Ghanaians, is struggling to get his own NPP government to back his statement on the bad state of the economy, then he should know he's no more relevant to this party or this government. Dr. Mahmoud Baumia has lost all his credibility as a politician and it's looking more like his political career is over in disguise. From my checks, an ex-convict who wears Prada in this government is seriously against the freedom Baumia enjoys in this government after being branded as a liar by Ghanaians. Today, an ex-convict who wears Prada again in government is pushing for the vice president to be embarrassed. Even though Baumia has been shamed and ridiculed in public by this president, he has still shown his commitment to the party. Today, as I speak, Baumia is more or less like a ceremonial vice president. He's excluded from vital decisions the government takes. His office has been reduced to the errand boy level. His job now is to attend funerals and cut salt at villages to promote his boss's forefather's history. With all due respect, I honestly feel bad for Dr. Baumia because he is even struggling to defend his own lies. Sometimes, out of desperation, he is forced to resort to unfounded formulas about the economy, which makes no sense to even the ordinary Ghanaian. The most embarrassing thing is this government has tried to disassociate itself from the words of Dr. Mahmoud Baumia because they now see him as a lying stain which might hurt their agenda come 2020. He is now seen as a waste of space and resources by this government. My worry is Vice President Mahmoud Baumia still hasn't realized that his stay in his party or in this government is over. I know this is the hard truth, but it's the fact. Baumia hasn't still seen the signal that the NPP government does not need him again. Finally, with all due respect, I believe it is about time someone woke Dr. Baumia up from his dream and told him the hard truth about his political career. I believe his political career is over and the best thing for him to do is to be smart and make arrangements for his retirement benefit. He should understand that the president does not care about him. The president only cares about himself and his family. It is a clear case of monkey the work baboon the chop government, which in this case it is clear that Baumia is the monkey who did all the dirty work for him to become president, and he, the president, and his family are being the baboons who are enjoying today. I say this because Ghanaians are now attacking Dr. Mahmoud Baumia on how bad the economy looks, whilst the main clowns, yes, dressed in hanging suits, tight pants, and white beard, are calling the shots in the Jubilee House. Your Excellency, Dr. Mahmoud Baumia, this is just a wake-up call. Be smart, be vigilant, and defend your credibility. The honest truth is, your unprecedented lies and series of lectures which brought the NPP to power cannot save you this time. We Ghanaians have only one thing to tell you. We are not hurt because you lie to us. We are hurt because we can never believe you again. So Your Excellency, Vice President Mahabudu Baumia, I would like to ask you again, how relevant do you think you are to this NPP government? My name is Kevin Taylor and this is the Friday Editorial.